Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Throw Octopus by Firestorm Labs. This game plays one to five players, takes roughly about 15 to 20 minutes to play, and is for ages seven and up. And in the game Throw Octopus, it is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be throwing an octopus at people. Now, maybe not all the time, but this is actually a tile laying game. You're going to be gathering eight tiles. You're going to be utilizing those tiles once per turn, or maybe more if you get lucky and placing them down to form specific underwater creatures. And your objective is to place all the tiles from your hand onto the tabletop. And if you can empty your hand before any player you win. However, other players are trying to do the same thing. And whenever they create creatures, they'll be able to play additional uh, turns. They'll also be able to gather cards when their tiles have certain octopuses on them. And uh, they're gonna be utilizing these cards to stop you in your tracks. That being said, that's the basic idea of the game. I'll now explain how to set the game up, how to play, and then of course what I think of Throw Octopus! Exclamation point. To begin a game of Throw Octopus, designate the number of players playing, and then give each of those players, after shuffling the tile deck, eight tiles. Finally, take one tile from the deck and flip it over to place it in the middle of the playing area within reach of all players, and that will be the starting tile of the game. And therefore, the youngest player will begin by selecting one of their tiles from their hand and placing it down onto the game board. That is pretty much the idea of the setup. The only other thing you need to note is that there's going to be a little octopus that you'll need to put in reach of all players, and of course the deck of octopus cards you'll need to shuffle and place within reach as well. And then get playing. A player's turn is quite simple. They're going to look through the tiles on the, in their hand, take one of those tiles, if they can, and place it to attach it to one of the tiles currently in play. It must fit exactly, and it must be the color of the tile you're placing it on. There are multiple different types of um amoeba shapes, or like scene enemies and urchins, and you're going to be filling them in so that they fit. If you do not have a tile in your hand that matches one that is currently on the playing field, then you're going to have to draw a tile from the stack and put it into your hand and pass your turn. After you've either played a tile or drawn a tile, your turn will pass into the next player, and that next player will go ahead and do the same thing. Look at the tiles in his or her hand and take one of them and then go ahead and place it so that it fits. There's a couple rules with placement. You can't simply place however you want. So I can't simply take a tile and form it um, a long ways when it's going straight ways. Um, and it has to always be able to match exactly so this tile here would not actually work as far as placement goes. Uh, but if I had a tile that was basically allowing me to connect it in some way, like for instance this one here, it connects perfectly, uh, that is going to work. And they have to literally match up exactly on the mark. If they don't look like they match, then they're probably not a match. And uh, that's pretty much the idea of the game. We'll go back and forth. New shapes are going to be coming up, and as those new shapes take mm, shape, you're going to be having more options to placing down new tiles. Whenever you place down a tile that has an octopus, you're going to be able to draw a card from the octopus deck. And when you do that, it's a card that you can either save or utilize. Now this one here is a tile party, which means that all players, except for me, have to draw a tile, which is great because my objective is to make every player have tiles remaining in their hand, but for me to empty my hand. I'll play that card, everybody else draws a card, or draws a tile I should say, and then they will get a chance to go. Another thing to note too is when you finish one of the shapes, if you fully uh, fill in a shape here, that is going to allow you to take an extra turn, meaning you'll be able to utilize another tile from your hand, but once again if you cannot, you'll have to draw from the deck instead. First player to run out of tiles is the winner of the game Throw Octopus. It's pretty straightforward, and I mean for 7-Up that makes sense. Let's talk about my review. All right, so now to review the game. Um, this is a tile placement game at its heart with a fun little addition by having a cute little toy octopus where you're going to be tossing it at other players. And in fact, I did get quite a lot of enjoyment from doing so. And the additional aspects of the cards that you'll be able to save and utilize throughout the turns uh, is a nice touch. This is definitely made for kids. It's a very straightforward kids game that I think kids will definitely enjoy. It's a fun game. It's very 
very simple. It feels like a lighter version of Carcassonne that works for kids. It has the cute aqua feeling, aquatic feeling, and as you know, we already made our own aqua game, or a game that involves uh, mermaids and whatnot, so uh, a theme near and dear to my heart. The added aspect of the octopus, whenever you draw and play an eye octopus tile, you'll be able to do certain things like throwing octopuses and make, making players draw extra tiles. Uh, the dreaded lose a turn, but in a kid's game, not so bad. In the game, uh, gameplay is very, very quick, so you're not really super worried about it. It's like losing a turn in like uh, something like a, uh, exploding kittens or like Uno, not, not a huge deal. Uh, magic touch, you can move tiles with green or pink to help you make your play. Exchange a tile in your hand with another exposed tile in play. A shark attack, pick any player and give them one of your tiles, which maybe is going to be a tile that you can't utilize right now, slowing them down. It gives you a way to kind of catch up in the game. Uh, players that are going to be a little bit farther ahead will have a harder time whenever you shark attack them. And there's quite a few wonderful little tiles in there. The artwork uh, of the game is great as well. It's super, super fluid and vibrant and pretty, ba making your board with all the beautiful little amoebas and crustacea, or whatever they're, I think they're called like amoebas and uh, sponges, maybe some some urchins and sea enemies uh, is, is really fun. I, I like the choice of colors that they made here, and I like how simple and straightforward the game is to play. Now, if I was going to play this game, it would most likely be with my younger cousins, kids if I had any, or even older family members like my grandmother and grandfather would really enjoy this type of a game because it works very well, and once you get through a couple rounds, you're easily able to understand it. And there's a lot of choice in the game and a lot of strategy that can be made as well. And of course, another thing to note too is when you're building shapes you can't turn them sideways you can't have one like this and connecting like this or like this they must align like this so you're constantly making sure that they all fit perfectly and neatly to make those perfect shapes to create an amoebas not a huge gripe, but it's something I think definitely kids will will goof up on at the beginning of the game, especially on their first game. They're not going to understand what types of shapes that they have to make. And so explain that, maybe not in the quick start rules, but maybe there'll probably be a rule book, rule book in the game that will explain that better. But for the most part, I think most of you modern gamers out there, people who've seen a lot of my videos, would kind of have an idea of how this game is already played and understand the function of it. And if it's something for you, you can go ahead and choose to go take a look down below, link in the description for you to pick up the game, Throw Octopus. For us, it's a solid family and kid game. Uh, most people who like Carcassonne or maybe um, King Domino, it's going to kind of fit into that realm, but it is a light, a lot lighter than those, so be aware of that. And it might not be for you if you're somebody looking for a bit more of a thicker modern style board game. But for those of you family gamers and people who are trying to get younger kids involved in gaming, this is a great one to take a look at, especially if you like to chuck little, little octopuses at people's heads. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So yes, I recommend it for young families young kids in families and families. <laughs> All right, outro time. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Throw Octopus. <laughs> if you're interested in picking up the game, like I said, there's a link down below in the description. You can pick up the game Throw Octopus, be on their website, and soon to be on Kickstarter. You can also go ahead and head over to our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. There is a subscribe button for you to push and a notification button for you to click. Don't forget to like this video and, of course, comment down below. Let us know what you think about this game, if it's something you're going to pick up. Why? or why not? Patreon me, $1 a month that helps us go a long way to creating more of our live stream content, keeping our Discord up and upgraded, and all that other stuff. Uh, you know, it's just an all around useful thing. Whenever we do giveaways, it pays for our shipping, et cetera, et cetera. Moonshell is, uh, uh, should be at your doorstep any moment now. Uh, we're just gonna get to that last little thick of it to make sure everybody's got their games, send any extra replacement pieces and whatnot. If you have any of those questions, hit us up on Instagram, hit us up on Facebook, and we will get back to you. Uh, look at these split. Thank you guys so much and as always I look forward to delving deep and throwing octopuses with you next time.